today we were with Kevin Nalty. Kevin is a strategist at Click Health. How do you think the digital technologies can best be adopted in life sciences? We like to start with what's the business problem? What's the challenge? What is the brand facing? And then also approach it with a lot of empathy for customers, HCPs, patients, and providers, and try to understand how to fit into their lifestyle. Where do you see 2021 trending? What's exciting to me is that um, having been in this space for 20 odd years, that over the past year, um, due to the pandemic, we've seen an acceleration of interest and use of innovative uh, marketing channels and tools and technologies. In many cases, our clients have already had these resources um, available to them, but just weren't taking full advantage of them. And now with remote detailing uh, becoming a mandate, just in the same way that we faced in the in the pharma industry, you know, requirements from HIPAA in '96 and you know EMR um, and some of the privacy requirements, we're now seeing the pandemic introduce sort of obligatory innovation, and so that can be across the board um, from the way that we engage with patients uh, because they're changing the way that they engage with uh, digital and with their own healthcare professionals. It's changing the way that uh, sales reps engage with uh, their customers. Um, and also it's changing the way that uh, doctors and uh, other doctors are, are engaging uh, in the sense that we're no longer seeing these large national meetings. Um, it's moving to virtual congresses. And I think that's one area of explosive change. We're learning new ways to do this. Do you see uh, a new normal? Yeah, I do. I, I think that uh, we'll we'll go back to some of our old ways, but uh, my hope uh, and, and expectation is that some of the changes we've seen over the past year are here to stay. Um, things that have really improved healthcare, uh, like remote consults, uh, more seamless interactions between doctors and patients. Um, you know, the sales reps want to get back to meeting in person because that's always more effective. But HCPs are showing in research um, a preference toward digital consults, especially with, uh, you know, a scientific exchange behind it. What do you see as the, the catalyst for adoption of digital tactics in the mental health field? Yeah, Robert, I think mental health is a, an extremely important area that has lagged behind other disease states. And I think if you were to visit this planet and uh, discover that we're so empathetic with somebody who's living with cancer, but so much intolerance toward people living with a mental illness. And I think now with uh, our, on the R&D side, where we used to sort of rely on something spilled in a lab that happens to work for depression, we're seeing a lot more R&D. And on the commercialization side, historically, people living with mental illness are not good about tracking uh, their symptoms, tracking their behavior, just like any disease state. Um, but it can be painful to just constantly remind yourself that you've, you've got a mental illness. What's wonderful now is that wearables and trackers are becoming so passive that somebody can go into their next uh, doctor's appointment armed with data about how they've slept, you know, their, their exercise, their fitness, their, their, and, and that's fairly effort, for, uh, effort free. And that data can be really valuable to triangulate uh, data points and determine how not just medical interventions, but overall wellness can improve outcomes.